ちょっと落ち着いてゆっくり行きましょう時間たっぷりあるんでいきなり暑いっすねちょっと待ってくださいそれ佐藤さんがおっしゃってるのって政治家の権利を高くしろっていうのだけですよね In this video, we are going to talk about one of the most known, one of the most popular, and one of the most controversial personalities known not just throughout the Japanese interwebs, but throughout the whole of Japan. His fan base is so big, having his face on a YouTube thumbnail can make all the difference to that precious view count. The man, the myth, the living legend, we're going to talk about Nishimura Hiroyuki. Most of us outside of Japan may not be aware of some of the more interesting personalities within the Japanese otaku landscape. So I thought I'd do a little video series and try to shed some light on these individuals. This is Otaku Files. A Shinsha Kaijin, this Kaisha Nikomo Kakte Yami no Basan Gaimas, Watacha HSP now, the Sasai Nikodemu Kinish, the Kyoku Yoshima, Sono Basan no say the Kaisha Nikuna Yutes, Wasan to Tasha Chai Pusho no Nigiri, and the Joshi Hosha Kinsu, and Soisto Mito Karuka Snarimasta, Watacha Dota Shosbeki, the Shoka, Kinishina Mental Gosi, this Tobazu, Obasan Nikiravare Timiti Gasa, and Komaka Yami Ga Ivare Tabini, Okina Koe, the Ah, you Timiti Gasa, Tabu Kiravare was having hundreds, if not. Thousands of clips on YouTube for all the things he said. Nishimura Hiroyuki, more commonly known as just Hiroyuki, is known for a lot of different things. But if we're going to start his story somewhere, we're going to need to start with Tuchan. Undoubtedly, those familiar with Japanese subculture may have heard of the anonymous image board or its English counterpart. 4chan. Feeling that message boards were too restrictive and lacked the variety of topics that he was interested in, during his college years, Hiroyuki came up with the idea of having a platform where people were free to discuss what they wanted to. Using his programming skills, he developed the basic framework himself, creating a very simple system that had minimal features and no censorship. <laughs> Launching Tuchan as a personal project, he first just invited friends and acquaintances to join his platform. Through word of mouth, more and more people came to know about Tuchan and its popularity grew organically. It also helped that it was around this time that internet access was gaining popularity in Japan. Eventually, the media got wind of Tuchan, which is inevitably what ended up propelling it into the national spotlight. Now, as you can imagine, with a platform where Users can discuss and post whatever they like without any sort of moderation. Not all the subjects brought up are going to be wholesome and about the best ways to cook rice. ま、結局もう匿名なので無責任な発言になってるってことですね。だから実名であれば無責任な発言が圧倒的に減るという。お二人に伺いたいんですけども、その実名化ということに対してはどういうふうにお考えですか。まあ、無理だと思うのと、あ
and the possibilities of increasing his influence internationally. Another platform that is associated with Hiroyuki is the video sharing website Niko Niko Doga. Niko Niko Doga's impact and influence on Japanese internet culture is something I could make a whole video on so we can save that for another time, but Hiroyuki recognized Niko Niko Doga's potential for user-generated content and was an investor in its early stages. Some people think that Hiroyuki actually created Niko Niko Doga too, but he actually didn't, nor was he involved in its development. He was, however, in an advisory role and has been said to help in regards to things like the algorithm that Niko Niko Doga ended up using. However, thanks to Hiroyuki's house being raided for drug-related offenses and tax evasion, he was forced to formally distance himself from Niko Niko Doga in 2013. However, his influence still remains strong and is currently a member of the platform's advisory board. As you may have gathered, Hiroyuki's stance towards free speech and lack of moderation gained him a lot of fans, including those that held extreme views, such as those of the far right. The allowing of those with extreme views to run rampant on 2chan often made people think that Hiroyuki himself held those same views too. Adding to this with his provocative and often abrasive attitude, Hiroyuki is noted to have received death threats on several occasions. However, Hiroyuki has also made comments that seemingly contradict those views too, and I have heard him even state on one of his videos that if anything, he actually holds left-leaning views. Probably the other reason to question whether he does actually hold ultra-nationalistic views was the fact that somewhere between 2016 and 2018, he moved to France. Eventually, he did confirm that he was now living in Paris. Even though on video he cited his girlfriend as the main reason for the move, some believe it was due to Hiroyuki wishing to be in a more liberal society free from the social constraints of Japan. Although the decision may have also been due to France having a lower capital gains tax compared to Japan. In either case, I think you can agree that Hiroyuki is seemingly not one to sugarcoat his opinion. In fact, this relates to probably what he is most known for nowadays debating, or in some cases just plain arguing. Being the high context society that Japan is, demanding people to read the air and adjust the way they speak to others so that nothing volatile happens, Hiroyuki, of course, does none of that. His conversations with many popular figures often involve him trying to pick apart their words, finding contradictions or lies so that he can enforce his opinion and win the debate. <laughs> これはテレビです。全国放送です。大勢の方が見てます。これ普通の感覚でいきますとね、やっぱりスーツ着てネクタイしてね、ネクタイしなくてもいいですよ。やっぱりスリッパでなかなか出てくるっていう感覚には僕
Anyway, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to let me know your thoughts on Hiroyuki or maybe another Japanese personality you'd like me to talk about for Otaku Files. Till next time, guys. Take care.